Man, those are bad. Yeah, let's see how much these are. What? 259 for minutes? 307 for minutes? Well, that's not bad. 104? That's 2005, 2007. 139? Oh, hell. Oh, man, oh, 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 Guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see today, we are going to be restoring my headlights on my 2008 Dodge Dakota. Um, yeah, like you see on the video, there was a hundred and I think the cheapest was $134 for one headlight. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do the Chris Fix way and we're going to get some sandpaper, some clear coat, and some, canard, some wax um, to kind of hopefully lighten up these headlights so they're not too bad. Um, only issue I do have with my headlights is that <clears throat> I have little cracks so from driving it I used to drive one hour to work one uh, when I first had my truck so it used to take me an hour to get to work and then an hour back and a lot of it was like freeway driving so I have these marks where they're either the plastics kind of like cracked I don't want to say shattered because not really shattered but it's like a, a, a crack and then it's a bunch of little swirly marks so I'm not sure if it's going to take any of that out but we're gonna find out. All right, guys. So yeah, so let's get to it. Let me show you what I got. Guys, that's my little swamp cooler right there. It's still hot. So as you can see, there's the clear coats. This is the sandpaper. Um, actually, I bought these two. I already had all of this. So I bought this. Bought that. Bought the sprayer. Just cause why not? I bought some other stuff, but my total from Home Depot was like 40 bucks. I know this isn't 40 bucks. I know this is six, six, like five, and five. And this is like six bucks. So, but in general, 40 bucks. So let's see. And then, like I said, I had all this other sandpaper. I had the tomato box, or the wax, paper towels, shop rag. But let's take a look at these headlights. Let's move all this out of the way. Quick note, if you have a 2008, 2010, um, and you're removing the headlights, it's really simple. It's three bolts, one down here, one down there, and one on the side. As you can see, it's starting to break. Granted, this is a very old truck. Like I said, it's a 2008, it's a Gen 3 Dodge Dakota. Um, it is a 10 mil socket, but yeah. But anyways, let's get down to the nitty gritty. So. that and I'll try to zoom in so you can see all the oxidation on here so right here is where I'm talking about that's as far as that bad boy's gonna go okay hold on so right here is what I'm telling you like I got hit with a rock and you can see kind of like the swirl marks it kind of cracking so I'm not sure if that's gonna fix it but you know what it's better than what it is now so there's that one this one's not too bad you can just see a lot of oxidation on the, on all of this so so yeah all right so Chris fixes steps were in the circle motion until you cover the whole thing with the lower grip and then you go and sand it in a is this what horizontal motion 
Um, so when you spray your clear, the scratches will it'll catch the scratches and not drip as much. And you're supposed to do light colors. So, so yeah, let's see, let's see if it works. One eternity later. day two <clears throat> so let's see how they came out so they came out way better than they were before only issue I'm having let's see if I can try to zoom in on it there we go there's this type of cracking all along the screen <clears throat> it's all no it's more prominent on this one than it is on this one but yeah all right, so now I'm gonna wet sand. Uh, <clears throat> I think I have 3,000 grit paper, so I'm gonna wet sand with 3,000 grit, and then I'm gonna put some wax on it, and then polish and buff it, and then we'll get the end results. All right, let's do it. what it looks like in the sun. So that was sanded down with 3000 grit. Added another thing of, of wax and buffed. And then this is not waxed. And that's a lot smoother. I can still feel the clear coat on it. So if anything, I'm still gonna sand this down with 3000 grit and then add some wax to that one. This one actually might add a couple layers of wax. So, yeah. So far, so good. All right, guys. So, that's how you do a restoration of restoring your headlights on a 2008, 2010 Dodge Dakota using the Chris Fix method of using some sandpaper, some clear coat, gloss, 
some wax, some rags, and a little bit of elbow grease, and it actually came out really well. Um, the the small little fractures that you've seen um, that I show, I'll show in the video, um, they didn't really come out, but it's still way better than it was before. And I also noticed that the um, the inside of my glass, there's like a haze on the inside. So the inside of the plastic, that's also it's um, someplace I can't reach to fix. But compared to what they were before, 100 times better. 100 times better, especially when this only cost me 40 bucks compared to 134 per one headlight. So yeah, so I do recommend you guys doing it. Um, it was super simple. Uh, it literally took me about 20 minutes per headlight <clears throat> to do all the sanding and I used more sandpaper than what Chris Fix did. So I started from 320, 400, 800, 1000, 1500, 2000, and 3000 grit. So, so I used all of those layers. Do you have to know? The only reason why I did is because I had the sandpaper and it was just like might as well, right? Um, I did four coats of clear and then when after it was done with the clearing process, I went back and I um, re-sanded the front with 3000 grit and then added the the wax, the turtle wax, the how you call it, the Karanuba wax. So I did that and I did two coats of that. Um, super soft on the front of the glass. You can tell it totally tell that I took the oxidation off. But but yeah, so awesome. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get to them back. I try to get to them as quick as I can. And don't forget to hit that smash turn like button. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, I'll do before and after pictures at the end. So if you want to stick around, bye guys.